Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm back in another video and today I'm going to be talking about what the Houston Rockets need to do to be able to win an NBA Finals. Now, what I mean by this, because obviously they're not in the NBA Finals, but I, there's only so many videos you can make about the NBA Finals. So I thought I should make like a twist to it and say what I think the Houston Rockets need to do to win the NBA Finals, what changes they need to make, like why they need to make those changes, what they need to do, and just pretty much everything that they have to do in my opinion to be able to compete for an NBA Championship as we have seen over the past two years it has not work so if you do like the video at any point like button and subscribe button would mean the absolute word to me and uh, yet like I said just like the video if you did like it and without further ado without running on too much let's get right into this video all right so my first reason for this video is going to be that they need to make major changes now whether that's trading Chris Paul or letting Doug Tony walk when his contract's up I don't know and like getting a new coach I don't know like I don't know what the major change is but they have to make one as I mean tr yes trading Chris Paul will be extremely difficult and you probably won't get much for him due to how big his contract is plus he's aging and he's on the decline of his career, but I mean, if you tra trade him to a contender, you could probably get like a, a couple young pieces or a pick if you wanted to. So I mean, Chris Paul is still tradable, but he's becoming untradable. Like the more they wait or the longer they wait, the more untradable he's going to get by the minute by the uh, day. He gets more and more untradable due to his, how big his contract is. But now the I think uh, getting rid of the coach and getting a new coach is the most like probable thing that they're going to do. And I think they need to do this because yes. Doug Tony, his system works in the regular season, but it does not work in the playoffs. As we've seen time and time again, of the, every team, not just the Houston Rockets, with every team that he's coached, they never get to the NBA Finals. They can get deep into the playoffs, but they never win the NBA Finals because of how ISO related it is. They don't play team ball, they don't play much defense, and that's just not NBA Finals basketball, and that's why they never make it to the Finals. So, I mean, we've seen Doug Tony's system time and time again fail, fail, fail. So, I think them getting a new, more defensive oriented coach would help them a lot more. And I think if they were able to trade Chris Paul as well, that would be ideal. If they can trade Chris Paul and get a new coach, I think that would be their best situation they can possibly get in. But now I don't think they're going to be able to trade Chris Paul. So I think the next best thing would just be getting a new coach and add some good role players So um, in free agency that are asking for a minimum or trade your current role players for younger, better ones. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... That's what, pretty much what I think they need to do. But now my second reason for this video is because they need to build a defensive team. As right now, yes, they have one of the best offenses in the entire league. Chris Paul complements James Harden's game com very good, and so does James Harden's game complement Chris Paul. They complement each other almost perfectly. But their offense it struggles a lot. I mean, because, not their offense, their defense struggles a lot. Because, I mean, they were just an average defense this year, and if you're not a unbelievably talented offense, which they are, they're very good, but they're not as good as the Warriors. Hell, they weren't even as good as the Pelicans this year on offense. So, I mean, um... Really, if you don't, since they're, they're an offensive-based team, their offense isn't the best in the league, and their defense is just average, that makes them a below-average playoff team. As I mean, they're not going to be able to beat anyone because their team is always looking to score, and they're not going to be able to guard anyone. And you just can't outscore the Golden State Warriors when they're fully healthy. There's no way you can do that. And when that's pretty much your entire game plan going in, like, okay, we're just going to outscore this team and out-talent them, when their team has five All-Stars on the roster and they can all score at will, it's very, very hard to be able to do that. So, I mean, people like the Warriors are never going to beat just because of how difficult it is to outscore them. So, I mean... With a more better defensive team, now their offense is still going to be good because no matter what, if you keep James Harden on that roster, you're going to have someone that can score at any time he wants. Capella can score sometimes down low. P.J. Tucker can spread the floor. Austin Rivers off the bench. Eric Gordon. You still have scorers on the team, but you can add more uh, veteran defensive talent and free agency uh, off the um, veteran minimum. You can uh, you can offer that, that to pretty much everybody in the league. So I mean you could definitely get some defensive minded players and plus you get a defensive minded coach then the team would look so much better instead of just being an offensive slugfest every single night but now my third reason for this video is going to be that they need to make James Harden the only superstar now yes Chris Paul is no longer in my opinion a superstar he is still very much up there he's still a top 10 point guard in the league and a lot of teams would love to have him so I mean I what I think they need to do is that James Harden will be so much better if he is literally the only person that's like like all-star level, not, I mean superstar level, because I don't think he's going to play good with another, like, say you added Paul George, I don't think he would play as good, but I think he would play good if you added just, like, if you just had an all-star level player, that'd be perfectly fine. Like, if you added Kemba Walker or someone like that, that would be perfectly fine. But, I mean, if you added another superstar, he would not play that good. So, I don't think the move would be getting rid of Chris Paul's contract and then picking up a superstar in free agency. I don't think that would be the move. I think what the move would be is getting, a, like, some good young talent around him and just let James Harden carry the offense 
offense while the rest of your team does like what they do. They just be role players. So I think that would be the best course of action. I don't think adding another superstar would help James Harden that much. Now, I could be wrong. I don't, I, we never really seen him with a superstar. The most we seen was last year with Chris Paul and, um, they did all right. They they probably should have made the NBA Finals last year, but Chris Paul got injured. So yeah, but yeah, but unfortunately, guys, this is the first video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Rockets need to make these changes? Do I, do I miss any changes on here? Our thoughts in the comment section below. And if you did like the video, and point like button and subscribe button in the absolute world to me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Can I have a blessed day? So you need to have a blessed day. See you in my next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah blah. blah.